everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Darlene. Today I'm going to be reviewing these lash extensions right here by this brand right there. I believe it's pronounced Quell, Q-U-E-W-E-L. And I will be linking where you can actually purchase them down in the description box below if you guys are interested. But I got this set in six and they are the D mix. So that's what they look like. They got a really pretty curl. It's a D curl, so they're going to be really beautiful. And then they also sent me their lash glue, or it's called a lash bond. It is waterproof and long lasting. So I just need to get me some tweezers to apply them or some lash applicators. These ones right here, you can use any. I prefer to use these types like this that are kind of slanted like this, but this brand probably does sell their own as well if you just want to kind of get like a dual thing, like a all the same brand kind of thing. Okay, so these lashes come with eight millimeters to 16 millimeters. So it goes from there. I usually start out um, pretty long. I'm going to do a cat eye. Um, sometimes I will do like a doll eye, but I'm going to do a cat eye. So I'm going to work out really long and then maybe use some 16 and some 14. I'll probably use 16 and 14 a day. Oops. So let's go ahead and apply the lash bond. And this is in the shade black. This is what their lash bond looks like. Really, really pretty. So I'm gonna do this eye on camera and then I'm gonna do this eye off camera. So let's go ahead and I just comb it through like I'm putting on mascara. Try not to get it on your bottom lashes kind of scoots you in like this at an angle so that you guys can see really well. And I can tell it's already getting pretty tacky because this is already starting to stick to it. So I like to grab them from the bottom. Oh my goodness, that one split in half. It's okay, I'll just use both pieces. So like that, it broke up into a couple pieces, which is fine because I usually end up breaking them up anyway. So what I like to do, make sure the lashes aren't sticking, go up behind. and apply them just like that. Just kind of situate it and I'm gluing from underneath. Just like that. This lash broke up into three different pieces. So I'm just putting these little pieces on. This is like a really bad angle. So I need to push it like that. So like that, let's see if I can't get this all out in one big lash. Okay, yeah, so I pulled it from the bottom and went up and it came out in one big lash, which is nice. So you just look down and then place it like that. So you can see how pretty this is already looking. Mm, I love lashes. I'm going to do another 16. Place it right there. Like that. And then I'm going to go in with a 14. Not too close to the lash line. Right there should be good. 
So that is one layer. As you can see, go ahead and just like pinch these on. Okay, I'm gonna do a, I may have to do a 12. Okay, so that is what they look like completely done. And if you want to make it just look a little more fluffier, you can stack them um, and it would look really pretty. So the lashes are really full and really pretty. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna stack one right here. And when I stack them, I'll just grab a whole lash a whole last segment and then I'll put glue on I'm gonna put some glue right on the top side of it so I've noticed that the lashes are breaking apart really easily which some lashes are like that they break apart super easy um, and sometimes it's just the batch it, like every batch of lashes can be different now you dry it to get it a little tacky. I'm just gonna stack it right here. And it'll just make it look a little more fluffy. Let me go ahead and show you from this side what they look like. So that is from the side. From on top. Super beautiful. So let me go ahead and apply this eye off camera so that you guys can see what it looks like completed. But as you can see, it's already a huge difference. So this is before and this is after. They are so pretty. I look like a different person. I feel like this eye looks like it's like lower. It really does. That's crazy. Okay, so let me go ahead and apply this and I'll be right back. Okay, so that is what they look like with both eyes completed. I love these lashes. I think they're so pretty. They're pretty bold, but you have to keep in mind, I did use 16, 3 16s, 114, and 112. So it's a lot longer than most people would wear, but I absolutely love this. Today is my 10-year anniversary with my husband and he wants to take me out to dinner later so I wanted to go big and bold and just look beautiful I feel like a princess when my lashes look like this I think they're just so pretty there's I mean look at that you can't beat that they're just like they're so pretty it looks like I have lash extensions on and these will last um usually around a week I don't know um this glue but it's it kind of feels like the clayless glue it's like sticky right from the beginning after right like right after you apply it i have been using this new lash growth serum so they're not going to last as long because this is oil based and i put it like on top of my lashes so they're going to start falling out a little bit sooner which is fine because i love to review different lash sets for you guys so it just gives me a opportunity to continue to dry try lashes for you guys while growing out my natural lashes and making them super thick. Um, I'm doing a review on this, but it's gonna take like three months to show you guys the before and after, but I've used this stuff before and I have other reviews on my channel of this product. It's New Lash, it's amazing. This stuff's amazing, but I think that it's really good to use if you're using lash extensions, just to keep your lashes nice and strong and beautiful. So yeah. So my overall um, thoughts, I like these. The only downside, which I found with a lot of se lash segments like this, when they're a little bit longer, like you can see the lash segments are pretty long. When they're longer like this, I find that they do break. Like you see all the like broken pieces throughout it. Um, they just break off a lot easier, which is fine for me because I don't like a super long lash segment anyways because um, the longer they are, they're like more kind of bulky and they don't blend as easily. I like probably about half of what this is. 
Um, and that's what it usually breaks out to. So to me, it doesn't bother me. But if you're someone that like is really picky and you just want huge lash segments, um, this may be a bother to you. For me, I usually cut them up anyway, so it really doesn't bother me. And I think they just look pretty and they were totally worth the effort. But yeah, that completes this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the notification bell down the corner below. That way you'll be notified every time that I do upload a video. If you haven't already, please go check out my lash extension video. Or I believe I called it like lashes, eyelashes or something like that. It's where I have a lot of different brands that I've reviewed. I absolutely love doing lash extension videos for you guys. And yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. God bless.